Yo he visto el dolor acercarse a mí, causarme heridas, golpearme así, y hasta llegué a preguntarme, ¿dónde estabas tú? He hecho preguntas en mi aflicción, buscando respuestas sin contestación, y hasta dudé por instantes de tu compasión. Y aprendí. Todo tiene un sentido Y descubrí Que todo obra para bien Y que al final Será Mucho mejor lo que vendrá Es parte de un propósito Y todo bien saldrá Siempre has estado and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our God which seated upon the throne 
and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence come they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. The Word of God. Our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we pray thee to set thy passion, cross, and death between thy judgment and our soul, now and in the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, pardon and rest to the dead. To the Holy Church, peace and comfort, and to us sinners, everlasting life and glory, who is the Father and the Holy Spirit, Live and reign, one God, no one forever. Amen. We'll sing our closing hymn from the booklet in the sweet by and by. <coughs> There's a land that is fairer than this. And by faith we shall see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful. In the sweet by and by, we shall be on that beautiful shore. We shall sing on that beautiful shore. The melodious song of the blessed. Glory. 
and the blessing that hall over death. In the endless wind, by and by, and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore, that beautiful shore. In the endless wind, by and by, Yo te extrañaré, tenlo por seguro. Fueron tantos bellos y malos momentos que vivimos juntos. Los detalles, las pequeñas cosas, lo que parecía no importante, son las que más invaden mi mente. Al recordarte mm, Ojalá pudiera devolver el tiempo Para verte de nuevo Para darte un abrazo Y nunca soltarte Más comprendo que llegó tu tiempo Que Dios te ha llamado para estar a su lado Así él lo quiso Pero yo nunca pensé Que doliera tanto Seguro, como pensar que la vida puede terminar en un segundo. La vida es polvo, puede esparcirse en un momento. Nada traíste, nada te llevarás, solo lo que había.
Remember them, O oh Lord, in mercy. Nourish them with patience. Comfort them with sense of your goodness. Lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace. To Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen.
We remember before you this dear our brother Charles. We thank you for giving him to us, his family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on an earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until, by your call, we are re reunited with those who have gone before us. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The first lesson is taken from Job, from the book of Job. Job said, Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on rocks forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that all the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. The word of the Lord. According to John. Glory to your Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord.
to Patrick Charlie, Ryan Bacon Wallace. We come to celebrate the life of this blessed man who have contributed so much to society. I know that he was an obedient child to his parents, a loving brother, a good and loving husband, a loving and blessed father and grandfather. A good African to Abubal. He was a blessed Christian of God. And everyone who knew him knew that he was a, a devoted man to his church. So whenever I minister to him, he used to sit down and laugh and laugh and to tell me about him. This time he used to come to Sunday school to try to throw it out of it. So that all the young people, they don't need to come and come and want to try to do it. So for the first time of the day, he had to not pray, not if he wanted, he had to go to church. But you see that blessedness that he, he had grown up with, make him to be a good man of the society. The example we have is Bacon Clinic. You know with his sweat, as a devoted father, he made that clinic for his soul. Take it, I am so blessed to have this energy. to see how she's punishing and suffering. He said, I am ready to go home. Yet it's not my way, he said. But God is the God. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. He said, my shepherd know my voice. Mr. Charles heard the voice of the Good Shepherd. And the answer is hard to go. Because he was lying there. He was in pain. He was making his peace with his Savior. And he could live a life full of purpose. Because he knew God.
we are all different sides of God. No matter what the trial and temptation may be, we will not have to change our appearance on this life. But we must remember that we were created by God and that we cannot have true happiness unless we live the life that God wants us to live. We should try to live a happy life because He knew who is with you. He knew the love of God was past God and His son. Because he keep his eyes on the Lord. Because he knew eternal life is his own. And not his own. Our destiny is the land where we live and money flows in heaven. We are just passing through. This life is transitory. Knowing that we know one day have to use the Lord to pray to we must keep our sight and our respect from you. Today, may God bless the family that we share with us. Life will never be the same. We learn to live and not, not no words that we can use can comfort you in this time of sorrow. It's only the mercy and the love of God to take that place. But I know when you remember the sweet memories of your father from when you were kids that will keep you going. And that memory will bring back him to you. Not physically, but spiritually. Because he is near you more than ever. He is near you in spirit. May God bless each and one of you this morning. As we come to share our sympathizing with the divine coming. And maybe may we be reminded that one day we are going to be in the same way that we can charge you. And we have to prepare our soul for that day. We have to prepare our soul when men comes out to us. And I know you no know, one is thinking about this. You think about her in part, you think about him in you were a baby, you think about every next thing. But then it will last in that first time. So we must live like your life died today. You must not live tomorrow. But if tomorrow
do Constantino ao Ateu, ao Avó Ateu, ao Amor. E o Tabilá de Tretara. E o Constantino da Legacy, da Deus Padre, Left with You. To live in peace and unity more than ever. Know that it's done. He will never be here no more with you. But you have to strive to go to meet him someday. And that is what happened. You remember Mr. Charles loved something. And you know, at the end of his life, he will only be remembered by the good deeds that he has done. So may God bless you this morning, may we comfort you and give you this health and strength to overcome the last of your beloved body. May it be soul and the soul of all the departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Families, friends, the community of Lucy's, because we have lost one of our dearest sons. Life can sometimes be considered by us as ironical, and that takes me about 30 years ago. We grew up in the same neighborhood, and we were teenagers, and we would go and play football on the street in the afternoon into the night. And I remember after several hours of playing, we were tired, so we stopped a while to go and drink water. And I told Jose, brother, if I go home, I'm not let me come home. Let me go drink water. So we went over, and we were drinking water. We were starting high school. And Papa Charlie was there, and he said, Barry, what do you want us to do? And I said, in joke, I want to be a preacher. And he smiled and he said, go for it, Papa. And when I mentioned the word ironical, is because what we consider ironical are just pieces of a puzzle that God puts in our life. And then he goes adding, and at the end we know. For me, this is the last piece of the puzzle. I was never a preacher, but this is my first time talking in a church to say goodbye to Papa Charlie. One of my greatest memories as a kid, Sunday afternoon, stand up on the veranda and see him pass to go to church. When put together, and the best piece of his suit was his smile transmitting confidence, humbleness, and purposes accomplished. And I tried learning that. And the little I've learned, anytime we talk, no matter where, no matter how, you always get the sense of that they were raised by mother and a father that believe strongly in the love of family. And that's what I take with me. I couldn't read this poem I wrote for him without saying this before because I wanted to share with you what I feel. I call him the last gentleman. It was, it was with rain and dark clouds I got the news that God had called you home. Entering his gate with your golden wings, he smiles at you from his throne. My early memories are filled with you, handsome, polite, and neat. Your million dollar smile, my dear, no one would ever beat. I just admire your entire life, a businessman and a father. What you leave for us to learn will make better tomorrows. A legacy of children, grandchildren, great-grand will always look to you 
in any road they decide to walk, in everything they do. Now it's time for you to meet your loved ones gone before, and with the grace and God of God and His endless poor, you'll hug your daisy floor. There's a lot much more to say, and still won't be enough. You go and rest, and pray for us. We need it very much. This is my appreciation and my understanding. Farewell, Papa Chale. Farewell, my darling. The last gentleman standing.
express some little words of gratitude and also express our night our deep gratitude to the Anglican congregation that had given my dad a very very nice service. I will also want to tell me must must not make it long. But in moment like this you can't do it sharp. You have to do it the way you have to be. So with one poem you should not have about four and then some next little words and I will be up. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began. So it is now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow or like you that you have died. The child is father of the man and I could wish my days to be like yours. Born each to each by natural piety. Poem by William Wordsworth. I will go in Spanish now. Queremos agradecer desde profundo en nuestro corazón el servicio en homenaje a nuestro padre de parte de toda nuestra familia. Pero para comenzar y primero ante todo agradecer al Padre Celestial por la vida que le ha dado a él y esperemos que sea el ejemplo para que nosotros sigamos ese, esa vida. También todas nuestras expresiones de amor y cariño que recibimos de todos los amigos y familiares de Bluefield y el resto del mundo porque tuvimos de todos lados expresiones sinceras de solidaridad, amor, cariño y aprecio. En estos momentos no nos debe embargar la tristeza, sino la alegría de la despedida de esta vida mortal a una excepcional persona a su ingreso a la vida eterna. Persona cabal, justa, amorosa, dadivosa y ejemplar. No perdía sus cabales ni en los momentos más difíciles. Así que hoy vamos a regocijarnos todos por la buena vida que tuvo este ciudadano, hombre, padre, hijo, amigo, abuelo, bisabuelo. Demos de darle su merecida despedida, despedida terrenal. Sientan hoy todos ustedes que debemos de agrade agradecer al Señor que nosotros tuvimos la dicha, y especialmente nosotros los hijos, de que Él fuera nuestro Padre. Quería expresar unas palabras para mi otra familia que hace un año perdieron a su madre, en el en el momento dado, y nuestra tía y en el momento dado no estaban ellos, solo estaba su hija Meida y su esposo Ernesto. Y hoy están Nardo y Yolanda, no está Jimmy, pero están Nardo y Yolanda. Y parece que este día también lo sienten como el día que falleció su mamá. Este Hoy es regocijo también para mis, la tía Iri o mamá Iri. Y así quiero decirle a todos ustedes muchas gracias y que este señor está en nuestro corazón. Amén. family, 
bacon, the Berry family. When I heard of the passing of Mr. Charlie Bacon, you know, it was uh, bring a lot of memory back of when I lost my father. Our parents taught us when respect was the base of the society to respect, especially Mr. Charlie Bacon. Our father and mother told us to respect him in all sense, being close neighbor right in front of you all know where we live. And after my father died, and my mother moved back to Bluefields from Corn Island. We always learned to address Mr. Charlie Bacon as Papa Charlie, as many young people and many people address him that way. Even the young one that is coming up in our family know him as Papa Charlie. I can remember my mom talking with Mr. Charlie, getting advices when there was no dad, no father there. Not to say that he and my older brother and my mom, they have birthday on the same date. So that day would be a special day when you get, my mom would get that phone call to say happy birthday Rose and she would say happy birthday Charlie. He was there like an eagle right in front of our home. Just knowing that Mr. Charlie was there on the porch would make us behave. He knew all of us by name, and wherever we may go and time pass and we return back home, Mr. Charlie will be on the porch as that eagle. And when we will say Papa Charlie and wave from over the road, he will respond by name. Every one of us he knew by our name. And he will wave at us with that special smile. Even the little ones that is coming up still get used to get that wave from him from the porch. If I think about us and brothers and sisters to call someone else Papa, we can't find no one like Papa Charlie. He was a respectable man, a great man, and we're in a time like this, we will find someone like Papa Charlie. But we can embrace his legacy, and maybe we will never live as long as Papa Charlie did, but we can be an example to some kids that is watching us as I was watching Papa Charlie. May God grant the peace and the comfort, knowing that Papa Charlie lived a life and leave a legacy for us to follow in all sense. A honorable man, a great man, not only for his bloodline, but also for everyone that has encountered with him. Goodbye, Papa Charlie, till we meet again with that wave of hand and that special smile. May God bless you. I want to apologize. I, have, I want to speak in Spanish. Um, I've been more fluent in Spanish, and in these moments, I need to be, at least try to be as fluent as I can. For, para mí, oír el nombre de Papa Charlie me da mucha risa, porque para mí es Uncle Charlie. Ese Uncle Charlie que representó en lo personal el vínculo con mi familia, Bacon, porque yo me fui muy pequeña a Managua. Y a través de Papa Chali, ahora Papa Chali le digo, eh, yo mantenía este, este vínculo, esta relación, estas historias de mi padre, de mis tíos, de mis primos, que, que me hizo quererlo tanto porque me, me dio a conocer a mi familia, me dio a conocer a mi padre, a mis tíos, a mis primos. Y en este momento, este día de lluvia, estamos reunidos una cantidad de sobrinos, primos, bacon, un montón de gente que no conozco, muchos que no conozco porque son hijos del sobrino, pero es el amor que este hombre pudo hacer y unirnos 
y estamos celebrándolo a él, a tía Edith, a mi prima Lolet, en estos momentos que tan difíciles de, de esta situación, de este año 2020, 20, 2021, que no pudimos acercarnos, abrazarnos, llorar juntos, decir cuánto amamos a nuestra familia, hoy hasta esto hizo Papá Charlie, Uncle Charlie, unirnos una vez más, mis hermanas en los Estados Unidos, Mamá Eileen, que no le dijimos, ustedes también deben saber por qué, por su estado de salud también, mi hermana Francis y todos estamos aquí con esta lluvia de Bluefield, queriendo, recordando y amando a Uncle Charlie, Papá Charlie. Gracias. Pero al fin llegué La luz llegó a mis ojos Aunque lo dudé Fueron muchos valles de inseguridad Los que crucé Fueron muchos días de tanto
dije allí. I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who raised your Christ from the dead will also give you life to a mortal body. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, to our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Charles and we commit his body to the ground. When the roll is far up yonder, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the saved word shall gather over on the other, and the roll is far up yonder, and be there. When the roll is far up yonder, when the road is dead, when all of life is over and the work and earth is done, and the road is tied up yonder and be When the road is tied up yonder, when the road is tied up yonder, when the road is tied up yonder. Almighty God, with whom we live the spirit of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we give you heart good thanks for the good example of all your servants, who have finished their first feet, now find rest and refreshment. May we with all who have died in the true faith of the Holy Name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal everlasting glory. To Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. It is well with my soul. Mira, le pongo esa allá arriba. Let it bless. 
as a show runs control that Christ and regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. My sin, oh, the bliss of its glorious God. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Bye. 
Te sentí 